mining, a key component in the new survival game, No One Survived. That's in early access on Steam at the moment. Hello, my name is Blood Cove. Today we're going to cover a lot of mining and what's involved. As you can see, open fields such as the one you see before you offer clay, iron, even the occasional silver scattered throughout. Stone is also going to be found scattered throughout the map. But what's involved in the mining? You have your tools. You have a stone pickaxe, iron pickaxe, steel pickaxe, low to high grade in that order. Your stone pickaxe requires seven hits to clear ore, whereas an iron is five and steel is three. You can only craft iron and steel in a processing table once you've unlocked them. Stone you can craft on the fly just using the little hammer symbol, which makes that really handy. Now, as I'm building this, we're going to get into where are we going to mine. You've got your open fields that are easy accessible. You've got your quarry, which I'll get to that here in a second. And you got three mining tunnels, all located around the map. The first place you're going to want to go is the quarry. It's big brown square on the map, southwest, near a merchant. You can't miss it. When you're there, you're going to find ores of all kinds from stone, clay, silver, uh, aluminum, just scattered on the ground, easy to pick up. Ore is also going to be located in the boxes in the central building. Inside the central building, you're going to find all the tools you're going to need. There's axes, pickaxes, pots, hammers. So once you get that, then you can start hitting the tunnels. Um, as you can see, I'm literally just running around, picking that stuff up off the ground throwing it into my bags, throwing it back into my cart, and I'll be taking it right back and putting it right into my smelter. All right, now that we've finished the quarry, let's move on to the mining tunnels. The first mining tunnel we're going to come across is iron ore and saltpeter. The second one's going to be copper and limestone. The third one's going to be aluminum, copper slash coal. Now that we've arrived at the first mining tunnel, as you can see on the map, you see the two respawn points. The tunnels, the tunnel snakes between the two points um, and does have two entrances. It is wide enough for a car, but I use a hand cart filled with bags. I treat all the mining tunnels the same. I create a straw mat at the front that gives you a respawn point and a map marker for all entrances. I also collect sticks so I can create stone pickaxes as I'm going through the tunnel system. Here we are at the first tunnel system. It's an iron and saltpeter. Let's get in and see what we're dealing with. As you can see, the first ore we've come across is saltpeter. Pond mining gives you 10 saltpeter. We're going to collect this next one. And we'll see you at the next mining tunnel. We are at mining tunnel number two, which is going to be your copper and limestone. I've already placed the straw mat at the front of the entrance. As you can see on the map, it snakes around. This map is at the ending, so you're going to see exactly where it comes out at the end. By train tracks, could possibly drive your car up. That might be more plausible. Speaking of the car, you could probably drive your car through the tunnel. But turning around might be a little tight squeeze. This one has an exit, so you shouldn't have a problem. The first two ores are copper, while the last one is going to be limestone. This way you have an idea on what they look like. After this last one, or I'll see you at the next site. And now we are on our last mining tunnel, tunnel three. In here, you're going to find magnesium and coal ore. The coal ore does give you copper, but it's mostly there for the coal. The problem with this one, there is no exit that I saw. So do not drive your car in there. You may not get it back out. Now, these first two nodes are aluminum. The last one is going to be coal with one thing of copper. Coming up is your map with the start location for the mine. It does branch out toward the end. If it has another exit, please put it down in the comments. I'd like to know it. I couldn't find it. We are back at base. As you can see, I started building this platform with these chests at the beginning of the episode. I've made one cart load. 
with bags each of the four locations we talked about today. What you're seeing is the resources gained through one run, spending the time to farm up more than you need than not having enough when you need it. What you see in these chests will keep your smelters running and keep you going on what you need on resources. If this video helped you out or you like the content, please like, subscribe. If there's another type of video you'd like to see me post, put it in the comment section. I'll be doing my best to check up on the comments as much as I can and responding as best as I can. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.